Oh, uh, I have to fix my computer. Uh, so we're like three turns into round one, and my computer crashed. So <laughs> I need to fix that somehow. Something with the drivers messing me up. I keep trying to update them, and it's like, oh, you can't connect. But that's just not true, because I'm here, you know? Uh, so our opponent didn't play a land on turn three. Uh, we're on the draw, and we're trying to play this Knight of the White Orchid. And it didn't work, because they didn't want to They didn't want to play a land for us. So then we duressed them. They had three Magmatic Insights and a Duress. We took the Duress. They're casting Insight, discarding their only land. And... Now this is happening. Now they're going off. Our hope is that they play a land, because we purposely didn't play a land. So hopefully between their draw step and their Insight, they do find another land. Uh, otherwise, we just kind of skipped our turn for no reason, but... Oh, no! It's not playing a land! Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Why are you not playing lands? I don't know. I guess if I just played a land naturally, then I could just play Gideon this turn, and that probably would have been pretty good. Uh, I just assumed I'd be able to get the freebie, but it didn't work out not work out so we'll see what they drew off the insight i suppose yeah just a lot of a lot of happenings a lot of insights and crackling dooms i think we just take the Colagons command and then This should work out okay. Another oh, soul fire, okay. Uh, do I want to cut anything or should I tick up? I should probably cut a seeker. So if I cut a seeker and the next turn I play Gideon, what happens if they draw a land and crackling do me? I sack the hanger back and I yeah, that that sounds good. So let's do that. Backup Gideon is nice. And I'm going to text Todd Anderson to let him know I'll call him after this match. Done. Dunzo. All right, what do we want to do? We could, uh, we could Emblem Gideon play another Gideon. Um, and then make another 3-3. Three, three. Sounds pretty good. Could also just play Knight and Hanger back. And potentially attack. Uh, I think I like playing Knight and Hanger back, and then next turn Emblem and Gideon. So, could also just smash him with Gideon, but I think I'd just rather have the 2-2. Two -two. I think I can attack here. Probably attack with both, actually. That might be good. So I haven't really had a safe time to actually play this Mentor, or at least, like, not a time when I could play it and another spell, and now our opponent's removal's online, so... So, yeah. Pretty sure you don't want to tap that Nomad Outpost for Red when you have a perfectly good mountain. Alright, so here is the Crackle. I feel like I'm supposed to sack the Hanger back. So that will go well with our Emblem, but he did redirect. We have so much so much nonsense going on, you know? I could just let him hit the Gideon. Or I could just trade a knight. Yeah, I can like trade the the white orchid for it, get a free knight out of my Gideon, and then play another Gideon, so that seems better to me. And then we actually get the Seeker off the table, and we're just Gideon Rich here. 
Um, so what do I do? Just make a knight? Make a knight, make an emblem. And then next turn I can just like smash him with shambling vent probably. Make sure I don't die. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine then. Alright, our opponent has a bunch of stuff. How do we deal with stuff? I like duress and price. Truths. Uh, Soren might be good. Can see Utter End, Omnixilis, Treasure Cruise all being good too. What do we want to cut? That is the question. Mentor not, might not be great here. Because uh, I assume he's going to have a bunch of shocks. So what are we doing here? Gideon might not be great on the draw because of all the grizzly bears. It's possible I want like some negates. I don't know, maybe just cut a couple Gideons. Cut a Gideon. Cut a couple Gideons. <clears throat> And then what? Miser's Dispel, Miser's Negate. I could see Ob, Utter End, or Treasure Cruise also being fine. Maybe I want a Sweeper in my board. Maybe I'm supposed to have, like, Planar Outburst or whatever. Because uh, I'm kind of worried about things like P and Kirin. And if he has Hanger Back, then I kind of want this Utter End. I guess I have four Silk Wraps, though. Random bug flying around, all right. Is it too cold for you, bug? What are you doing? Should be like hibernating or something. All right, this is good. Let's see if we can turn off this Knight of the White Orchid. Sneep. Snap, sneep. Well, yeah. I do want to play knight, so I guess there's there's no reason to duress. Oh, I'm gonna get duressed. Maybe that was my reason to duress. I like my duress secure in ultimate price. How dare you? Maybe a painful truce over there. All right, we're knight rich. I think I should probably just jam one on turn two then. Because if I activate the first one, pretty unlikely that I'm going to activate the second one. And then, uh, if we get to game three, then I can just side the knights out on the play, which is pretty nice. Discard a crad? I don't want to. I just walked right into that. Just threw away my grizzly bear. Alright, Gideon's tight. Love it. Should I get a prairie stream and then a swamp? That all makes sense. Then we can just try and fireball them out with Secure the Wastes. Wouldn't really mind if I drew a land though, so maybe I won't crack this fetch land. And yeah, I, I feel like I should have Obnixilis in my deck. Seems like it'd be really good. Alright. I have been doomed. Maybe I should just play Gideon on an empty board. It's like, what's the worst thing that my opponent does? Like, I don't really care about Crackling Doom. I just feel like... I want all the Planeswalkers, it seems like. At least against hands like this. Now opponent knows my hand, so they can act accordingly. And then if Gideon loses two to like a command or 
Or Crackling Doom, then I'll probably just start taking it up. Opponent has a Mystic Monastery in their deck, which seems odd. They did have a Sunken Hollow, too. So what's the blue card that they're splashing? Treasure Cruise, I guess, to go with the Insight? That kind of makes sense. Could also just have more Dragons. I haven't seen a Draconic Roar yet. Ooh, discard a card. All right. That's fine. You got my ultimate price. Could have like dispel too, I suppose. So, do I main phase this secure or no? I think I should just plus one. I get in a hit for five, I get to Emblem, and I still keep a Gideon around, so that seems pretty good. And then I at least have some action going on if they, like, play a Fetch Land and dispel my Secure. But I don't want to get, like, Radiant Flames, and it seems like Flames could be in my opponent's deck, especially with the way they're playing. And they didn't duress my Secure. Oh no, this is a disaster. I was not expecting that. Still get five tokens. So we get to attack for seven. And another Shambling Vent's okay. Just one land away from activating both, and this one might die this turn, so. Then we might not even need to activate both. But they just take the hit, go down to seven. Can definitely see getting Radiant Flames here, but I think that's okay. Because then they're not doing anything else with their turn, most likely, and yeah, that's it. Do -do -do. So this is why we like this deck. We have things that uh, just beat these mirror matches that are all about spot removal and card drawing. So there you go.